Welcome to the moon, or as close to the moon as you can get here in Japan. We're on the sand dunes just outside of Hamamatsu, where Team Hakuto is testing their rovers. Yes, they have two rovers to test in a mobility test. The larger one, called Moonraker, is a four-wheeled rover, which tows behind it a two-wheeled guy called Tetris. The idea is that Moonraker will back up to a skylight on the moon, a cavern formed by lava, and drops Tetris down within. After landing, we send a signal from the ground station, then envelope should open, then rover should pose out from the envelope, then touch on the surface of the moon. This portion of the terrestrial milestone prizes are designed for the teams to show Google Lunar X Prize or the X Prize Foundation that they have actually created hardware that is on a path for launching. My name is John Walker. I'm the rover development leader for Team Hakuto. You can see the camera here, and this is an off-the-shelf camera for industrial use, pointed straight up. And so there's also on top of the rover a parabolic mirror so the camera can see a 360 degree image all the way around. This is the operator console where we get the live raw image so we can see in front of the rover to the right and behind. My name is Nathan Britton. I'm uh, one of the engineers on the team. I'll show you a spot turn. We're going to turn 30 degrees to the right. The weather at the moment is quite nice, but uh, for the test itself it was actually pretty bad. That didn't stop a scrum of Japanese reporters from coming out and filming the event. This is the best place, a nice place uh, for us to demonstrate the, uh, our mobility system. Our final goal is to contribute to the science. The rubber tube underground, the surface of the moon, uh, is really fascinating. Today we know that there are several holes and if possible, our rover uh, should go down into the hole. The cave is supposed to be the uh, base for in the future. So we are going to explore the cave in order to identify uh, the cave is uh, feasible for the future base. So then first we complete the 500 meter travel and approaching to the a hole, edge of the hole. Then as an option, we use this tether system to make an um, uh, underground um, exploration. The judges are not quite willing to commit to saying whether the team was successful, but things certainly looked good from where we stand. The milestone phase of the Google Lunar X Prize is over. The next step is the moon. We're still waiting to find out which team will get to the moon first and win that $20 million prize. Certainly we'll be there to cover it when it happens. Whether we win the X Prize or not, we're going to uh, continue to our uh, journey. I'm Tim Stevens from CNET covering the Google Lunar X Prize.